Hey guys, Darcy here, and today we're going to talk about what to do with Intel plugins that don't work in Luna. Let's jump into it. If you now have the version of Luna that is Apple Silicon compatible, but you've loaded up some older sessions and you've noticed certain plugins are no longer working, it may be because those plugins are actually not Apple Silicon compatible. For instance, for myself, with AutoTune, the real time version, the prior one, they did not produce a Apple Silicon version of this with everything they've upgraded. And therefore, I ran into a problem where that particular plugin shows up red and disabled when I load up Luna in an Apple Silicon mode. It's actually quite simple to resolve this problem. So this is what we're going to do. You go to the actual application of Luna, right click on it and click get info. Then click on the option to load this up in Rosetta mode and open up Luna. Then you can open up that session. Now my suggestion to you, if it is a plugin that you have an older legacy version and a newer version like I do with AutoTune, then you might want to transfer your settings from the old version to the new one that is M1 compatible for longevity or you could just export all your audio files into waveform and then you have a version with that effect applied and you never have to worry about plug-in problems down the road when you're done with this session and you you know want to go back to your m1 compatible mode just make sure to go back to that application do the get info again and uncheck that Rosetta option and that's pretty much it if you found this helpful let me know that in the comments if you have any additional questions let me know that as well and otherwise have yourself a good day. Peace.